Right friends, welcome back to Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958, a draconian law and Supreme Court's comments are strictures specifically keeping in view Manipur and it is in operation in several states and we are going to deliberate on what is exactly Armed Forces Special Powers Act. This originated in 1950s. The main reason for its origination was the demand for the free sovereign Naga nation and in those days an organization representing Naga people conducted plebiscite and it was reported almost 98 to 99 percent of people wanted a sovereign Naga nation from India and subsequently Indian government thought of declaring certain areas as disturbed areas by giving special powers to armed forces. That is all about Armed Forces Special Powers Act. Initially, the name was Armed Forces Assam and Manipur Special Powers Act of 1958 and this is applicable for disturbed areas of northeastern states and it is applicable only when the area is declared as disturbed area and in Jammu and Kashmir, it was implemented since 1990 and please don't forget this is implemented in the areas declared as disturbed only and in Punjab in the year 1983 it was implemented and subsequently it was withdrawn in the year 1997 and if you look at Tripura almost after being in operation for 18 years, it was recently withdrawn. That means this act was withdrawn in June 2015 in Tripura. So, this Armed Forces Special Powers Act as on date is applicable to certain areas of Jammu and Kashmir and certain areas of northeastern part of the country and disturbed areas can be declared by either center or the state governments. And if you look at uh, further deliberations on this Armed Forces Special Powers Act, as I have already told you, declaration of disturbed areas can be done by central government or state governments. And at the same time, the situations warranting the declaration of disturbed area are continued unrest in the area, then militancy, then insurgency operations in the areas, then borders under threat. Sometimes we are facing problems from across the border in Pakistan. Not only that, from across the border in Myanmar, sometimes we are facing problems. Then religious, racial or ethnic clashes. Ethnic clashes are sometimes taking place in northeastern part of the country. And as I have already told you, the provisions of this Armed Forces Special Powers Act will apply when the area is declared as disturbed. And please don't forget, an article exists in the constitution. Just I am quoting only for reference, Article 355, it is the duty of the union to protect the states against external aggression and internal disturbances. Right, let us move on, how it can be implemented. That means, what is the implementation process of Armed Forces Special Powers Act? Under Section 3 of Armed Forces Special Powers Act, the Governor of a state can issue official notification in the Gazette of India and after notification, Center has got the authority to send in Armed Forces for the aid of the civilian police. So, Armed Forces sent by the Center will aid the civilian police. And what are the powers for these armed forces when they are deployed in disturbed areas? First and the foremost thing is, after giving due warning, an officer of the armed forces has power to fire upon even if it causes death for the maintenance of public order in the state. And they can destroy arms dump or they can raid the hideouts they can arrest anyone without arrest warrant. They can enter and search any of the premises. Then legal immunity for army officers for their actions. That means, if some people die due to the actions of army officers, 
then no prosecution and no suit no legal proceedings against anyone acting under that law so it gives a protection to the armed forces officials whoever are working in disturbed areas and with the manipur as the focal point the observations of supreme court the supreme court categorically stated indefinite deployment of armed forces in disturbed areas is a mockery of democracy and second important point is it clearly symbolizes the failure of the state these disturbed areas can be declared for 2 years 3 years 4 years but not for years together 30 years 40 years that is the question of supreme court what are you doing by implementing such a draconian law for 30 years 40 years 50 years and normal scene not being restored cannot be a reason for prolonged permanent and indefinite deployment of the armed forces and loss of life whether it is of any human being is having equal importance whether he is insurgent or whether he is a terrorist or whether he is armed officer that means all human lives are equally important and each of the killing in disturbed areas must be investigated and supreme court stated that 1528 cases of alleged fake encounters in manipur should be probed so supreme court is a very critical about the implementation of armed forces special powers act during the past several years in northeastern parts of the country especially these comments are with special reference to manipur and during the past several years what went wrong and what others have said in the year 2013 supreme court appointed santosh hegde commission and they probed six sample cases of alleged fake encounters and finally they found that every one of them had not been carried out in self defense that means it is pointing out to fake encounters then Iram Sharmila is fighting for the repeal of Armed Forces Special Powers Act in Manipur since 2000 please look into the slide she is Iram Sharmila and rape and killing of Manorama Devi a woman militant created controversy in 2004 and in one way or the other it is alienating the people and it was implemented in punjab since 1983 and withdrawn in 1997 and human rights violations is the negative fallout of this act especially because of the reason india is a party to international covenant on civil and political rights and as per this international covenant on civil and political rights all parties should respect the civil and political rights of individuals because of implementation of this armed forces special powers act civil and political rights of individuals are being infringed right so under these circumstances what is the way out the view of defense ministry is they strongly feels that armed forces special powers act is required to maintain peace in disturbed areas the counter view is excessive force is being used by armed forces with alleged fake encounters rape of women wanton killings and violation of human rights and it is alienating the people so the way out is if not repealing the act some via media is to be found out to modify the regulations of armed forces special powers act right friends it is the time to introspect because it is in due course of time alienating the people of northeast as well as jammu and kashmir right so with this let us conclude armed forces special powers act please do join for other modules have a nice day thank you